Now, my goal is to definitely win the Worlds, to definitely win Britain's. I want, I want to keep my title. I think when I when I won Britain's Strongest Man last year, it filled me with so much pride. Um, and even though the world is cool, I think Britain is where it is, and I want to be the strongest disabled man in this land again another year. I'm Dave Walsh, the Sitting Bull UK, and I am the strongest disabled man in Britain and the second strongest disabled man in the whole world. So I started competing in Strongman in 2012, uh, so 10 years ago now. I started uh, in the able body category. And I just went to the gym and, and thought I was strong, so entered into a local competition at the novice level, amateur level. Uh, and from the first competition I was hooked, I loved Strongman. I loved everything about Strongman. I didn't care if I had to travel like six hours to a competition, I, I, would, I would compete. And it was at the stage where Strongman wasn't huge, so to get on a competition was really tough. There was maybe like 10 competitions a year that you could get on, and you literally had to be the first one to get on there. At the, you know, if you were on a, a novice level, you, you, you had to be the first one there. Um, because that novice competition was filling up within the first day of posting. Ended up winning a, or coming second at Wales Strongest Novice. So for me that was a kick up, so I had to move up to the category. So I competed in the Opens and I competed at uh, Bristol Strongest Man, I competed here at Trojan Strongest Man Opens, and then I entered the, the Naturals League. I qualified, uh, I came third at the Southerns qualifier for, for the Britons, and I went through to Britons strongest natural man but that's when my MS started to take over and I, I started to kind of fall apart even competing at Britain's strongest natural man I wasn't at my best I had massive relapse beforehand so my training wasn't up there but I wanted to go there because I qualified for the competition I believe I needed to be there so I went there but it was a catastrophe I fell all over the place and I couldn't pick up half of the weight that I know I could pick up in training so I've always had issues with my legs and I started crumbling from underneath me and there was actually a, a point where I picked up an atlas stone it was probably about 120 I picked it up and I fell backwards with it and you know it was that point I kind of realised that I couldn't be a strong man anymore or so I thought I always, when I, when I do it, I always forget to add the weight of the bar. So it's 350 kilos of plates and 20 kilo bar, so 3, 370. I tried coming back in 2015 to able bodied, but it was quite clear that it wasn't going to work. So in 2017, I found a chap called Mark Smith. He was doing some incredible stuff with, with Disabled Strongman. And because of him, I think he was doing a seated deadlift. I started doing a seated deadlift at my local gym. And the owner of another gym kind of saw it and he had an amputee um, who he trained. And he saw me doing it, so he started his client doing it. And then decided to run a competition, which was the Southwest Strongest Adaptive Man. Uh, disabled competition which I entered and I ended up winning. I'd say mentally it was tough because even though I was still doing some bits I was I was the only disabled person in the strongman group that I was training in so I was seeing the, the guys like doing the able-bodied events so it, what, I couldn't get a clean break to, to jump onto it. It took took a while even I think even in 2018 I didn't I wasn't accepting it as much as I was. I think it took for me to kind of accept my disability as a whole um, 
before I could accept me being a disabled strong man. I used to not tell people that, like people I work with, that I was committing a disabled strong man because, you know, to me, I, I, I'd comment it about it to anyone as well. They'd, they'd ask about it and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I came third in Britain's, um, but it's not real strong man, is what I used to say. And they were like, of course it's real strong man, if, if anything it's better. And I used to like proper piss my wife off when I used to say stuff like that. It's not real, it's not, it's not real strong man, it's not proper strong man. But now I can, I can look back on it and say I was, wasn't accepting of, of me being disabled, I wasn't accepting of me being a disabled strong man. But, but now I embrace it, it's, it's, it's awesome. And I, I love being a disabled strong man and I'm proud of it. And, you know, anyone who, who I love to talk to anyone about disabled strongman or able-bodied strongman. I just love strongman, basically. <laughs> I can only see the sport growing and growing. And with companies coming on board, larger companies to support the athletes, that's how we're going to get the, the big numbers on stages and that's how we're going to get the big lifts out there. So I can definitely see it being a massive potential. So I love doing the seated deadlift, really. Um, I'm pretty good at it. I've got the world record at 610 kilos um, and just to know that you can break the ground with that much weight like you know half a ton um, is, is pretty incredible and I also I love pulling trucks pulling things uh, pulling machines man versus machine it's always been the, the great event to watch and I, I love doing it in my wheelchair strapping on to the to the lorry and just pulling you know 15 tons or whatever people get so amazed by it and the first time I'm, I'm amazed by it to be honest so um, I'd say uh, th those two are my favourite to, to do um, in, in Disabled Strongman. So it's in Canada this year which is um, I think it's been in Canada once before so it's the 20th year of World Strongest Man so they're going to make quite a big a big deal of this one, World Strongest Disabled Man. I think back to before I knew about the sport it was it was quite small and then we've been getting bigger athletes in like Mark Smith and um, there's, there's also some others who are massive for like the, the women, uh, disabled strong women, they're, they're getting bigger now because of representation that we're having on social media, we're getting quite a few shares and followers by the able-bodied strongman world, um, so it's, it's going from strength to strength. Yeah, th this, is, this is the year, this is, I was so close last year, I lost by one point, putting everything into this year and this, this is going to be the year I, I succeed in that.